coming back with a water update. Uh, this is how I make and process all of my water. All right, starting off here, we have um, your standard little quarter inch auto top off. So when it goes low, it starts filling it up. And then when it floats up, it stops. I have the SR Aquaristic Hal Scion. It's an RODI unit. However, I do not have a DI cartridge in the last one. It's a, a finer micron carbon. So it goes stage one, stage two, stage three, comes up and around, goes through all the pressure switches, goes through the RO unit, and then through the booster before the RO. And then it all gets sent out, the waste. Um, so what I have is a tap water. So this is just cold tap water. You can hear that. I have cold tap water and then my RO, and the RO has a heater. So the heater is just in there to keep the water change water relatively similar because I'm doing like 90% RO to 10% tap. Uh, what I have is a sump pump. So I use this sump pump to pump water through this garden hose. And the garden hose goes through a flow regulator not necessarily a regulator, but a flow counter. So this tells me how many gallons are going through. Then it, that just leads all the way over to the, what is it, sprinkler valve solenoids. So it's one, two, three, three different shelves. Uh, all I did was put it the input, put it upside down so all the air primes out. And then these are check valves so the water doesn't back siphon. Uh, there's no regulators, no pressure regulators. Uh, and then I just went straight to, I think this is half inch, quarter inch, uh, no, it's half inch. Um, what's the word? Sprinkler tube. They make these really simple push barb connections that'll handle 30, 40 PSI easy. Um, I've been using and that. this 100 foot of half inch drip tubing. Extremely durable. Uh, Let's see, it's pretty thick. It works really, really well. Uh, it's kind of hard to deal with because it's so rigid. I'll show um, you how I did it on each tank here. So each tank has its own, um, what is it, just a switch? Like a flow restrictor ball valve. So you can come over to it and then shut it down, sh open it, depending on how much flow you want. And then that just goes through to another T and then it goes back up and down. Here, let's see. So then that just goes from here all the way around, back and down to my sections. What I did was I use a, I think this is half inch tubing, half inch tubing to the thread, used a thread uh, to a reducer and then just did a quarter inch push fit for the top shelf because they're 10 gallons. And then I'm using half inch uh, drip irrigator tube for the 40s and the 20s and 29s. So over here, same idea. It's just going to each one. And then the only way that I build up that pressure is with the sump pump on the bottom. Uh, it's a little weird because I have to do 90% this, Ooh. the sump pump to there and then pump 10%. And then if I'm doing just like the 10 gallons, that's only aged tap water. So still working on that, but um, I can use my phone to program the schedule. It's Bluetooth and it's Wi-Fi, so I can do water changes wherever. So let's say I just need the RO. Um, I could do maybe a week, that's two water changes, maybe 25% RO water changes. Uh, what I'm using is this Genie. I'm using Genie for all of my Wi-Fi LED switches. And I use Genie to turn on the sump pump, go to the Orbit Beehive, turn that on, and then that allows all the water to go down. Um, so what I've been doing with these tanks is I have an overflow. And when I installed all of these, I drilled and put elbow overflows. So my overflows overflow into a giant three inch PVC. And that three inch PVC 
just leads to the sump. Then from the sump, it gets pumped into the sewer line. So other than that, that's how I have my water change set up. Very, very simple. Once you have the buckets, the reservoirs, pretty simple. You can do any kind of sprinkler valve, sprinkler system. Just be careful. You want to watch how many zones you can control. I can control six with that one so I can do another manifold. Uh, other than that, they're really simple to do. Uh, I recommend you drill all of your tanks as soon as you get them, when you paint them, stuff like that. It's just so much easier. Um, other than that, pretty much it. Here we go.